Coral Morphology Most hermatypic coral colonies can take on different forms in their morphological structures. This make them the most difficult organisms to distinguish between their species. Morphology of coral colonies can vary depending on seafloor terrain, geographical location, and sea conditions around them. Most hermatypic corals that inhabit shallow reefs are phototrophs, and the shape of their colonies can also be influenced by the angles of the sun, and their position on the reef slopes. Recovering colonies and toppled structures will reorientate their growth in accordance to its phototrophy. In highly diverse reefs, change in morphological structures may also resulted from competition for space. This occurs when one colony inflicts damage to an adjacent colony and occupy the available space, shaping themselves around its predecessor. Morphology of Hermatypic Corals Hermatypic coral colonies can assume many types of physical structures. Branching coral colonies can have tree-like morphology. Colonies forming slabs with short branchlets are called the table coral. Foliaceous coral colonies may be of vertical thin plates, horizontal, lacy or crumpled. The massive coral colonies includes the brain coral, boulder coral and the bubble corals. There are also coral colonies that digitate into clusters of short, stubby branchlets. Most corals begin their colonization of the seafloor by encrusting. There are also solitary corals that is commonly called the mushroom coral. Types and forms of corals There are two types of corals, hard and soft corals. Hard corals or hermatypic corals has been discussed earlier. Soft corals or non-hermatypic corals can be found in both subclasses. In the subclass Octocorallia, there are many non-hermatypic corals that is common in the tropical reefs. level of training, we will not discuss the scientific names of the corals. Instead, it is very important to focus on the types and forms of the corals. Although the Ocean Quest Global Coral Rehabilitation Training put great emphasis on the hermatypic corals, it is important that we must know that most things we found on the reefs are indeed corals, and their role in the ecology must not be ignored. Soft corals together with sea anemones adds to the biodiversity of reefs. Their abundance contributes to the sustenance of many marine life on the reef.
This video has taken us through the overview of coral morphology. It is an important step towards understanding the intricate relations of anthozoans. The diversity and abundance of life on the coral reef can be overwhelming. Therefore, it is important that learning about corals are structured correctly to prevent confusion and misinterpretation. Here, we take a tour of the class Anthozoa. Remember, there are two subclasses of organisms in this class. They are Hexacorallia and Octocorallia. Previously, we explored the order of Scleractinia, and we have seen the hermatypic corals contained in that order. Now, let's explore the order of Actiniaria. The most abundant species in this order belong to the family Stichodactylidae. And one of the most common organisms in this family is the magnificent sea anemone, Heteractis magnifica. They are widely distributed in the Indo-Pacific, Southeast Asia, and Indian Ocean regions. Sea anemones does not secrete calcium carbonate skeletons and their morphology resembles a single polyp. Sea anemones are host to the anemone fish or commonly called the clownfish. The extent of these family of organism requires an elaborate video presentation which will be part of this educational series. Here is an example of a sand-dwelling sea anemone. And they are host to a different species of anemone fish. The concept of learning about coral morphology is not limited to hermatypic corals only. The process of coral cataloging demands good skills in describing morphological structures of the organisms. It also guides the observer towards a systematic and clear approach to coral identification. Observation skills and experience will help develop the necessary knowledge to write descriptions of the corals, which can save time in the cataloging process. Once these skills are acquired, the use of imaging technology can greatly enhance it for better documentation. The advancement of technology allows us to also create three-dimensional observations by photogrammetry. This technology allows us to see the morphology of the coral colonies from all angles. In later videos, the subject of photogrammetry and its use in morphological observations and mapping will be presented. OceanQuest Global continues to explore the reefs of the world and adapting to newer technology to bring to you this educational video series. Like and subscribe to our channel and we hope to see you in the next video.